Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Real United States Video Blog. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and behind the camera, as always, is our camera operator and my wife, Beverly Campbell. We're here in Paris, but not the Paris you may think of when you hear that name. We're actually in Paris, Michigan. It's a small town just north of where we live, and like so many towns in the United States, named after other towns of much more fame. The reason we're here today is because we're going to try and catch some action of snowmobiles. There's been a lot of fresh snow. We've had a winter with a great deal of light powdery snow and so those who participate in snowmobiling as a sport are out in force and we're hoping to share that with you. What we're standing on right now is the White Pine State Park Trail. This is a this is a railway rail bloopers rail. The White Pine State Park Trail is a abandoned or disused railway line. This particular trail is actually quite long. I'm not certain of the length. I'll try and look it up and put it in the description below. But you're gonna see that this trail is probably in excess of 100 miles long. And there are hundreds and hundreds of miles of these public access trails all across the state of Michigan and many other states here in the United States, but I know in Michigan we have hundreds of miles of them. Can you shoot the closing? Ready? You're still rolling, right? Yeah, we'll do, I'll just do it all in post, po in post. He's only ran out of gas or something. Let's shoot another little second. I'm waiting on people. Keep rolling. Maybe they think I'm a bush cop and they're all drunk up or something. We walked out of the sh our other shot. I'm gonna see if I can swing the other camera around. Don't get too close to the trail. Give everybody a wide berth. And there's our poor little Beverly looking like a big blue pumpkin. Filming for our episode on snowmobiling in the real United States. <laughs> so bad, you cold? <laughs> she says, yeah, she's a little cool out here. <laughs> yeah, it's up to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is significantly warmer than the 2 degrees Fahrenheit that it was when Bev left for work this morning. So you can see that the snow pile is actually taller than the poor little Beverly here. That's how much snow we've had this season. I'm kind of standing on the edge of a relatively busy road. <laughs> and the passers-by are eager to actually be on camera. So here, here we've got some sleds coming up the road, brightly colored in this particular case. And uh, These are both pretty new vehicles. And uh, this 
Skidoo, Formula SL Skidoo. Polaris. <laughs> A Yamaha, another Polaris. Really nice sled here. This is a Polaris XC, and just a really nice machine. And another Skidoo. trying to look over my shoulder so I don't get run over by one because they, yeah, they do want to get where they're going. <coughs> but you'll notice that everybody's been very friendly and that's really a nice, nice thing. Although I'm surprised that nobody has actually stopped and asked us who we are, what we're doing, or where we're from. Yeah, you can relax your arm and let it roll. Should I have talked about that the equestrian traffic was prohibited? Or what all was prohibited? People waiting diligently for traffic to clear. Very careful to obey the laws and the regulatory signs here along the trail. Just out having a good time. Got enough, you wanna? Okay, let's call it good. <laughs>